This animatronic heart is indistinguishable from the real one. Engineer Will Cogley has created a unique three-dimensional human heart, 3D printed with astonishing hyper-realism. The extremely realistic creation operates on three servo drives controlled by Arduino. While the heart plays a vital role, few of us have witnessed its beating in real life, typically due to trauma or a serious operation. However, if you want to acquire an amazingly realistic working model of this crucial organ, Will Cogley demonstrates how he created his own. The remarkable animatronic heart is made of silicone and coated with special fake blood for added authenticity. Inside, two servo drives push the left and right lower parts of the heart in a displaced sinusoidal sequence, then instantly return. The third servo drive pushes out the upper part of the heart, replicating the movement of the two lower parts, and completes the beating effect. Control of this three-dimensional device is achieved using an Arduino microboard and an Adafruit I2C servo driver, with a user interface allowing adjustment of the heartbeat speed via a potentiometer. Power is supplied through a cable at the back, allowing it to stay on a table or be held without losing its effect. If you find this too realistic, Cogley has also designed a much simpler model using only a motor mechanism and a cam to incrementally push out heart sections. Encased in a heart-shaped fabric shell and powered by a battery, this version is more of a playful novelty than an intimidating prop. American scientists have successfully 3D printed living tissues of the human brain for the first time. Researchers from the University of Wisconsin in Madison have developed models of the brain's cortex and striatum, which grow and function similarly to real tissues. However, their goal is not transplantation, but rather the study of the functions of the human body's main organ and various neurological disorders. Scientists explain that the key to success lies in the special density of bioinks and horizontal printing, providing cells with the necessary oxygen and nutrients. This 3D brain model will facilitate a deeper exploration of neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, as well as developmental pathologies of the nervous system. Professor of Neurobiology and Neurology at the Weizmann Center, Su Chun Zhang, emphasizes that this technology will help scientists better understand the interaction between cells and different parts of the human brain. He is confident that the achievements of his team will lead to a reconsideration of scientific concepts in stem cell biology, neurobiology, and the pathogenesis of many neurological and psychiatric disorders. DJ Du, a talented Japanese artist and DJ, has unveiled his latest creations, realistic fragments of the human body that respond to touch. In his collection, you'll find not only iPhone cases covered in human-like skin and DJ controllers in the same format, but also amazing accessories, such as a mouth-shaped wallet in different variations. Videos featuring DJ's new creations are popping up on his Instagram account, capturing the attention of fans and art enthusiasts. One unique feature of some models is the ability to respond to touch. For example, a leather cube with a human eye comes with a controller that allows you to control the blink frequency, the width of the eye opening, and much more. The price of these items is around $5,000, but customers are ready to pay for their uniqueness and quality. Currently, there are about 30 different creations made from something like human skin and flesh. The company responsible for creating these works of art is Giuro, specializing in special design and modeling for movies and commercials. These amazing accessories find buyers not only in Japan, but also beyond its borders. Many well-known creative personalities in the West happily add these practical works of art to their collections. Would you like to purchase something similar? Recently, the startup Clone Robotics released a video showcasing trials of its humanoid robot, specifically its hands. The company aims to create the most human-like android, and currently, their hands are making quite an impression. Artificial muscles responsible for movement and strength consist of hollow tubes wrapped in mesh-like casings. They are filled with liquid, through which a powerful heating element passes. When the element is energized, it rapidly heats the liquid, increasing pressure in the tubes. This allows the hydraulic drive to flex and extend muscles without using a bulky pump. The artificial hand's bones closely mimic the structure of human limbs. Joints provide an almost human range of motion. The developers claim that the robotic hand has 27 degrees of freedom, including wrist and thumb movements. As Clone Robotics currently focuses on developing hands, they plan to start supplying them to interested customers. However, they are hoping for funding to create a torso with a spine and 124 muscles. Currently, there are no discussions about legs, In Japan, innovative 3D masks have emerged, designed for people to try on the face of someone else. The store Kamenya Omo, specializing in props for theater and cinema, developed hyper-realistic models that perfectly replicate the human face. These masks are so precise that they cannot be distinguished from a real face, except for the immobile lips and the frozen gaze. 
The technology used to create the masks allows for the even distribution of a person's facial photograph onto the plastic surface of the mask. The store owner, Shuhei Okawara, reported that since the project's launch, he has received several thousand requests from individuals willing to provide their portraits for mask production. The models have been on sale since spring 2021, priced at around $950. Despite the high cost, there is tremendous demand for them, and Okawara is confident that this is just the beginning. He plans to expand the range by including models with the faces of people from different ethnic groups. Okawara also notes that he can establish mass production and release approximately 100 identical models per month. He asserts that many people desire to have a copy of their own face and are willing to financially support the project. In his opinion, the masks pose no threat and could become a commonplace accessory in the future. Tilly Lockie is the first English teenager with bionic prosthesis. Born in County Durham, United Kingdom, Tilly lost both hands at just 15 months old due to a meningitis infection. Today, Tilly serves as a model and activist, traveling the world and drawing attention to the issue of meningitis, which nearly claimed her life in childhood. Her bionic hands are controlled by muscle sensors, allowing her to control finger movements. When I tense my muscles, the fingers bend, and when I relax, they straighten, explains Tilly about her technological adaptation. She notes that her bionic hands enable her to perform very delicate movements, such as opening jars or using cosmetic brushes. When Tilly first tried applying makeup, it was challenging for her as she lacked muscle memory on how to properly hold objects. My makeup tutorial on YouTube generated a lot of interest because people found my achievements impressive and wanted to know how I do it, says Tilly. She emphasizes the crucial role of social media, where her followers took notice of her. Not only can engineer Will Cogley boast about his hyper-realistic heart, but he also creates animatronic eyes on a 3D printer that astonish with their scary realism. The key to crafting quality animatronics lies in realistic movement and appearance. Even with the most advanced drives and mechanisms, the effect can be spoiled if your character looks like a mannequin. Conversely, a character may appear extremely realistic at rest, but immediately lose that effect when in motion. Eyes play a crucial role in creating realism, and YouTuber Will Cogley shares his secrets in creating alarmingly realistic animatronic eyes. In his videos, Cogley demonstrates how to create eyeballs and activate them using accessible components and mechanisms that can be 3D printed. All mechanical parts are available for printing on any filament-based 3D printer. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.